Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Versatile. Welcome back to another Skyrim video. And today I'm going to show you guys how to um, import, not import mods, but today we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys how to install Race Menu. So, this is as of 2024. Uh, I've kind of, this is what Race Menu looks like. Um, stuff like that. I have a stuff here. It's also a uh, presets and camera. So, um, yeah, if you guys do enjoy this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, guys. So the first thing you will need is Sky, and before that, actually, you will need Sky UI. That's the that's one of the things. Next thing you need is the Skyrim script ex extender. And the next thing is going ahead and installing race menu itself. So sky UI is basically anything menu related. So this is required for anything. Like I said, that's menu related. And this is a very important mod. Another important mod here is the Skyrim script extender. So some of these. This, also make sure to look at the requirements unlike cyberpunk which I pretty much modded earlier uh, Skyrim it's it's an older game and it's also a stupid amount of mods so make sure to check the requirements and also make sure uh, you know your version so what I mean by that is that you go to Skyrim special edition in your folder here or maybe in Steam I think Steam might have it as well just go to Skyrim SE right here and then you right click it and then go to properties and then details so file version is what you're looking for this is 1.6.1170.0 so that is the version we're running and that is the current I think yeah, that's the latest uh, special edition as of uh, February 26th of 2024 so um, only requirements you need is Sky Skyrim Special Edition 64, which is pretty much just this. Um, yeah, you just need the base game for Sky UI. But before that, I recommend you download Script Extender because this is a lot. This actually goes with a lot of files. And you're also going to need this for Race Menu. So make sure you have this one here on Steam and this one for GLG. I'm using Steam, so I'm going to be using um, this one. Now, make sure to preview file contents because this is going to be important. So, Skyrim Script Extender, um, you can download through Vortex, which I already have. And Vortex mod right here. So, Skyrim Script Extender, once you get done with that, you'll need to enable the plugins. Uh, make sure that you have all the plugins enabled for Sky, Skyrim Script Extender, then Sky UI, then Race Menu. So, um, those are the main three we're installing right now. So, after you're done installing this one and Sky UI, I, I installed this one first. I kind of recommend you guys do that as well. Next, you need to move on the race menu. Now, race menu is actually tricky because you can get lost. So, right here, do not install this because this is for the anniversary edition. As you see right here. So, what you actually need, what you actually need to install, install is down here, and that is in old files. And what you see here is Race Menu Special Editions V416. That is the latest version. So, um, please uh, download this one. Uh, don't mind this because this, that's the latest version. It's going to say the same thing for 15 or 14. But yeah, this is all oh, you need to install Race Menu. So once you install these three um, through your mod manager or vortex right here, make sure to have all these plugins enabled because if you don't, then the mod might not show up. So once you have those done, this is actually the tricky part. So what you, so what instead of install, instead of launching the game, 
normally you would launch through the loader because if I launch through the game right here it won't work properly however if I launch through the loader actually as a matter of fact I just demonstrate it so I'm gonna launch Sky I'm gonna launch Skyrim special edition regularly and it's not going to load properly so here's this is here's what I'm gonna show you so I have my save if I continue Oh, it does work. <laughs> I've been... No, it doesn't. See, look. There you go. It's going to have this error. Yeah, that's what's going to happen as well. So instead of avoid... We're going to avoid that. I'm going to close that out. And we're going to launch this through the loader. Which this is very vital. Because it might not work if you launch it through the regular game. But if I launch it through the loader like I just did, I press continue. Well, at least I go to my current save. When I go here, goes to the command, using the little tab right here is below your escape key. Type in show race menu. And there we go it's installed now it's not showing too good right here because I'm on a hill however I think if I do change a few things let's see yeah there we go yeah it's not gonna show right because I'm on a hill but yeah here is how you install race menu I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, teach you guys how to install presets uh, and install presets uh, once I learn how to do that efficiently so yeah, that's pretty much it on this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I tried not, I tried to leave as little as possible. So this is pretty much how I install Race Menu. And um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.